Good to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat and I got a little time on my hand. I only got four minutes running and I got a lot of more things that I would like to relay today. But this is just one one of them. Now, I want to talk about friendships right now, y'all. I, I would really like to talk about a situation that I went through and I want you to learn from my experience Anything, you know what I'm saying? Anything you see your boy talking about, I would like to for you to learn from my experience on what I've been through and what I had to deal with. Now, check this out, y'all. Now, I'm going to run through the story real fast. I had a friend. We grew up together. Um, it was over on Belmont, home in elementary. I'm not going to use no names because this dude know who he is. I would walk to this guy's house. I was forced by my mama to have my little sister tag along with me I have to take her to school with me in the morning time I couldn't just go do like a regular dude and just go to school go get my boys and whatnot so I had to have my sister tag along with me and I would walk to my homeboy house every single day for two years and he would get his sister and me it'd be four of us and we would all walk to school together in the morning time now this relationship grew this was my best friend now when I moved out that certain area I made it my business to come back to rekindle this friendship that I had with this man so long ago but check this out now this is where time changes stuff I would see this man in the course of me just handling my business throughout the city of Fresno periodically here there nowhere in particular but we would always exchange information but he would never respond back when I tried to, hey, man, what you doing this weekend? You want to come kick it? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that to be a real man. Now, this is the problem, and this is what kept this man from being a friend, a brother, uh, a lifelong, because we, we, we went through... Uh, everything you can't I can't imagine something that I didn't go through or sacrifice just to have a friendship so as a younger person I thought when I got older that that friendship would always be there because the blood sweat and tears that I put in to that relationship to keep it now here's the folly on my friend my ex friend's fault now he's so concerned about me sleeping with his wife or his girlfriend at that time to where he would not have no business with me whatsoever because inside of his mind or in his heart he feels like I'm gonna take his woman from him and this is probably the best woman of that nature he probably ever had I don't know y'all I don't know y'all but this is what I seen out this man now he's so worried about me stealing his girlfriend and him losing his girlfriend and not knowing that I would never do this man like that ever in his lifetime. Now, when we were younger, remember the the sister that he used to take to school with? Just like my sister, I had to take her to school in the morning time. Now, to be right, he would be he would be more right if he was be worried about me messing with his sister. Cause she fine in a mug. She like 28, 29 years old. She fine in a mug. So he's sitting up over here worried about me taking his girlfriend from him. And I'm more worried about his sister. She's a grown woman now. You know what I'm saying? She's 26. She's 28. And she's a beautiful black woman. You know what I'm saying? So instead of him worrying about me messing with his his girlfriend or wife lover whatever you want to call her he should have been way more concerned about me and his sister so i don't know y'all i don't know y'all the moral of this story i could possibly say if you have a true friend don't let stuff inside of you maybe something that you thinking about is not it you know what i'm saying